Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frank from Brilliant the Epic, and this is part 6 of my Resident Evil Code Veronica X Let's Play. So, last week was part 5, obviously. Um, glad I can count. Woohoo. Yeah, but last week was part 5. We uh, made a lot of progress, did a lot of shit. Uh, got stuff, I don't remember exactly what, but we, we basically got to the part where we get to leave this island. So, um... I don't know if we know where we're going yet, but we're going to Antarctica. That's basically where we're going. And uh, there's, like, evidence that that's where Chris is, so that's where we're headed. And I think I have everything I want. I want a first aid spray, too, because there is a boss fight coming up. We'll, uh, we'll go check it out. It's possible I'll die on this boss. Um, if I remember correctly, he's actually more tricky than the end boss of the game, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, how's everyone been so far? I've been great. I've been uh, been busy making new content for Brilliantly Epic. Uh, some new shows are coming out, some new ideas I've had. Uh, one of them I posted on Monday. It's called uh, First Impressions. And basically, Five. what I'm going to do... Oh, shit. Timer. Until detonation. So this, this is why I was freaking out and wanted to save, because if you don't make it to where you're supposed to go in this time limit, then you get game over. And, uh, yeah, I hadn't saved for, like, an hour's worth of gameplay, so if I got a game over after all that and had to replay all of that, I, I would have just cried. It's been horrible. So here we, here we got Alfred. He's still doing his sister's voice, wearing some makeup. He actually looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. He looks a little bit better with some eyeshadow, some mascara. Really brings out his, his pale skin. I like it. So this thing here is the boss we're going to fight. Um, yeah, he's a badass. I don't know. I don't think they ever explain like what his deal is or how he was created. He's just this badass that kind of has club arms with spikes coming out of him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so anyway, um, first impressions, I just released it on Monday, and I explained the rules of the series in the video, but basically what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, when, when you go to GameStop, there's a lot of random shit on all the shelves, and games you would just never even think of playing, just because, um, you know, let's be honest, video games are expensive. You're going to play the games, like the sequels to the games that are coming out, so like, you know, Far Cry 4, I'm really excited for. I'm not even going to read a review on it. I'm just going to buy it because Far Cry 3 was so good. But, yeah, for mo for the most part, the games you play, like, you don't really stray outside of the norm when it comes to the games you buy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to GameStop and be like, wow, this game looks weird. I've never heard of it before. Let's see if it's actually good. And I'll play it for half an hour and... Based purely on that, I'll just let you know if it's good or bad, and if it's worth playing. You know, these are games I've overlooked, they're games I've never even heard of. Um, yeah, and the first episode was on a game called Naughty Bear, which was actually kind of a piece of shit. It was fun for like 10 minutes, and then it, it just got really old. So, yeah, anyway, look for that on the website. This fucker needs to die. Get up. I'm not sure if you can hit him when he's down like that. Please die. Please die. There we go. Kutunk. Bigger they are, harder they fall, all that and stuff. Yeah, and then the uh, the other series I got coming up is uh, just just re video reviews, basically. So new new games that are coming out. Uh, for example, Madden 15 just came out. Metro Redux just came out. I got both of those for the Xbox One. I'm just going to play through them. I already beat Madden, won the Super Bowl. As Philadelphia Eagles, not going to lie, we look pretty good this year. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I won the Super Bowl. Going to do a video review on that. And then Metro, which I'm actually really excited to play. I've never played any of the Metro games. I think... Um, I think when they came out, I was in college, and like, you know, when I was in college, I, I was I was busy, and I, I didn't have as much time to play. Well, I mean, I, I did play a lot of video games, but it was a lot of, like, multiplayer stuff with my friends. So, a lot of, like, Super Smash Brothers, Call of Duty, 
a lot of D&D, &D, stuff like that. But I didn't really have a chance to play many single-player games. So I played the games that I was, like, really excited for, like Dead Space. I played um, Metal Gear Solid 4. But, like, other than that, I didn't really play much during college. So that was, like, four years where I just didn't play very many video games. So I missed a lot of stuff. And, um, yeah, Metro just seems right up my alley. It's like a survival horror type game. I love horror movies. I love horror games. Silent Hill 2 is, is one of my favorite games of all time. Dead Space 2, I, I yeah. I, I don't think I listed Silent Hill 2 on the website, like under the part where it says meet the team and you can see our favorite games and movies and fuck you and, and all that stuff. I definitely listed Dead Space 2, though, because that is the best game of the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 generation, I think. In my opinion, it's, it's the best game. Uh, I, I, you know, just in terms of gameplay, story... It's an awesome game, and I just love the Dead Space universe. I've even read some of the books. There's one that's like Michael Altman's origin story. It kind of uh, explains, because, you know, in the game, if you played it, he's like the head prophet of the Scientology knockoff Unitology. And, um, you know, the whole game, you, you got people trying to kill you who are like saying, Altman be praised, and he seems like an asshole or something. But if you read the book, you actually find out he's a pretty cool guy. He's a lot like Isaac Clark, and he's like, uh, you know, the necromorphs are trying to kill us. You guys are being idiots for worshiping them. But, you know, shit happens, and kind of out of his control, he becomes a prophet for this religion that he didn't even want to be a part of. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool book. Some sexual tension here. Ugh. We're almost through with Steve. I can't wait. Shut up, cutscene. I know what it's like to be alone. Also, you killed your dad. Yeah, so the Dead Space book's pretty good. Um, I would recommend them. Even the movie, I forget what it's called. It's sitting on my shelf right over there. And uh, let's see if I can read it from here. I think it says Dead Space Downfall. Yeah, Dead Space Downfall. Some pretty good eyesight on me. But yeah, pretty cool movie. It's um, It kind of takes place right before the first game. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, Alfred is, uh, you know, he blew up his base. He's gonna do shit here. Getting in a tank. Yeah, there's like a secret passage or something. He's gonna do something. I think there's gonna be a jet or something. I don't know, a boss fight coming up, basically. So, I gotta stop kicking the mic. I keep doing that. Yeah, he's got a jet. So, he's still talking like his sister. Um, even though his sister's dead. Which, again, I don't remember if we know yet. And he's got like a Harrier. One of those things that can hover straight up and down. Those are probably pretty expensive, so... Good for him for having a tank and a Harrier. And a whole creepy island with zombies on it. Hey, what the so, here comes the boss fight. I'm gonna die a lot. I mean, maybe I won't. That would be cool if I could do this in one try. I just remember this giving me a lot of trouble. Um, so, what I'm gonna do, actually, is save right here. I'm not gonna stop the video, but I'm just gonna save in case I do die so I don't have to replay all that shit and watch that cutscene again. Uh, because this guy's a pain in the ass, and I wish I had more grenade ammo, actually. Or, like, more of anything ammo. I'm pretty low on ammo, so this will be interesting. Right, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, over at this one. Keeping two slots now so that that thing that happened before doesn't happen again, where... Uh, it's like awesome and it records fine, but then it stops recording sound and uh, Speaking of which I'm gonna make sure we're still capturing hold on God I get so fucking paranoid, but yeah, it does that awesome thing that it did before where it, it uh, yeah, records sound, but 
or it tells me it's recording sound, and I get the little bars that are going up and down that are going right now that to show it's recording sound, but then there's no sound in the actual video, and I've already saved, and I'm fucked, so I have to replay the entire game. I'm keeping two save slots so that does not happen again, because that fucking sucked. Claire's a little bit nervous here. Um, we don't really know what to expect in here, even though it's going to be something that we already saw coming up. Oh my God, it's that guy. So yeah, there he is again. And uh, now we actually have to kill him. So before when he fell over, he wasn't dead. So yeah, he's got spikes on his arms. He can fuck us up. So let's do it. Uh, okay, so there's a there's a strategy for this, and uh, he's about to hit me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please run! Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, 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 okay! Wow, 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 wow! Okay. Well, I've hit him twice, and I'm almost dead. So he's gonna hit me again. Fucking hell, please run. So, you can actually fall out that hatch. Um, I know, and, and stuff like this, where he's gonna knock me out. Oh my god, run, run, run. Oh my god, please go, please go, please go. Get up, Claire. Fall over. Fall over, you asshole. Oh god, get up. Damn it. Yeah, he kills you so fast, and... Games like this, it fucking sucks, because he'll knock you over. And then you'll spend the entire time, like, the animation of getting up is so slow that he pretty much can hit you right, right away again. So once he knocks you over, you're pretty much fucked. And you're just kind of scrambling to get away. But, yeah, here we go again. So that was my first death in this game. Guarantee you it won't be my last. So, go in here. Oh my god, it's this guy. This this is w one game that really makes me love checkpoints. You know, in newer games, it wouldn't play this whole little cutscene again where it's like, oh my god, it's this guy. Because the game knows that you died through this guy, so it's not going to do the whole big reveal again because, you know, the surprise isn't there anymore. So, yeah, in newer games, there'd be like an autosave there or something. Please get up. Jesus, like two hits and he knocks you down a caution. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna die right here. Fuck. Uh, first aid spray. Oh my god. I hope, I really hope this doesn't take me like 30 minutes to beat just this one guy. Alright, so we're out of those. Awesome. Got seven grenades. Hopefully this does it. So the strategy is kind of, um, remember when I walked in the room and it said catapult something or other ready? For some reason this plane is equipped, I think I missed there and that fucking sucks. And I'm dead. Fuck! Try number three. Okay, so yeah, remember how it was saying when I walked in that room that there's like this material catapult thing or other and for some reason a plane has that in its cargo bay? I don't know why. Seems a little counterintuitive. I guess in case you're having a Resident Evil boss battle in one. That's why they put that feature in. But yeah, basically, um, you shoot him enough so he crouches over, and then you shoot the, uh, like, uh, it shoots boxes at him, basically, and you try to knock him out the back. So you can't actually kill him just by hitting him, because he's invincible. you you got to knock him out the back. So, here we go again. Oh my god, it's this guy. Spike hands. Reveal. Oh my god, scary. And I don't remember the specific strategy for this. I wonder if... Because you can launch multiple boxes at him, and I'm going to go ahead and just try it right away. And there's a bit of a delay between it. So I almost got him that time. Oh, and he pushes it back. That's what it is. So there, yeah, there's a bit of like a... It needs to like recharge or whatever. But I'll do that just to buy myself some room. Get five quick hits off. With this, run the fuck away. Jesus. Yeah, it's that he doesn't flinch when he gets hit, and then oh my god, he can he can double hit you. It's 
Ah, <sighs> God. Okay. This is going to be frustrating. Let me use the pistol. It's faster. Oh, my God. Reload. Reload, Claire. I think I'm about to die. That's going to piss me off. Please don't die. Please get up. Get up. Go. 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 Fall over, you bastard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, let's use a double herb and uh, three more shots. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Get up. Get up. Go, 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 go. All right. Come here. Come here. You prick. Use my other green herb. All right. All right. Let's go. Charge at me. Charge at me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Charge. <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Okay, this might be this entire part, just doing this fight. Uh, <laughs> so let's try number four. I knew this guy would kick my ass. He, you know, even though I know... I remember the first time I played this game, uh, it was like my third playthrough that I finally got up to this part, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing in this boss fight, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't get past him, and I... I did what I used to do when I was a little kid where I would get frustrated with a game and I'd just go return it to GameStop or like trade it in or something and buy a new game. And I, I've done that with so many games. Um, yeah, I just, I can't even, yeah, like Metroid Prime, fantastic game. I just, for whatever reason, got hung up on a part and, and just never beat that game because I, I traded it in and then never played it again. So this was one of these games and I don't know why it kept coming back to it. I guess I just... I, I guess this game has the right amount of frustration mixed with the sense of accomplishment you get from beating stuff that you actually keep coming back and you actually want to beat it. Um, so this was one of those games where I was actually like, okay, this game pisses me off, but I still want to beat it. Uh, so he's going to charge me. Oh, God, it's so hard. So hard to dodge. Oh, my God. So I'm probably in danger already. Uh, just gonna shoot him. That missed, probably. That missed too. Get up, Claire. Get up, Claire. Oh, God. Oh, my God. If he hits me, I'm dead. Okay. So he's gonna hit me again as soon as I unpause. So let's think about strategy here for a second. I'm gonna run to the right and shoot him. All right, let's do that. Yeah, that would have killed me there if, uh, oh my god, please fucking die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, get up, get up, Claire, get up. Let's do a triple herb. I think we can do that. Yeah, triple herb. Same as a red and green or a first aid spray. Refills all your health. Uh, and this thing, get back the fuck off. Go away. Oh, wow. That did like nothing. Awesome. Awesome. It's it's entirely possible I just don't have enough ammo for this boss fight. And... Oh, my God. I don't know what I'll do in that situation. I may have to turn to Tay Interwubs to get strategy on this. Because, yeah, I got... I'm about to die. I... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. He might even hit me out the back of the plane right now. Please get up. Please get up, Claire. Go, go, go. Go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so, out of ammo. So, uh... This is awesome. Don't have any more health items. Please reset thing, please reset thing, please... Oh, damn it. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, because, I mean, I do have a weapon that doesn't require ammo, but it's the knife, and it's not like I'm going to knife this dude. That won't do anything. Uh, yeah, fuck, I, I don't know. All right, what I'll try is just hitting him with everything I've got. I'll even try the, the bow gun darts. Maybe that'll help. Get more health items. 
Although, don't want to check that. It's kind of better to save the health items, to be honest. Not really use them up as quickly as I am. Okay, hey guys, what's up? Um, we're having some capture issues. I don't know why. This is still try number five for this guy. So yeah, I walked in the room, and as I was going in the room, capture stopped. So, yeah, still in this part, you have not missed anything at all. So, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I don't know if that hit him. hope it did. Yeah, he's just so fucking hard to dodge. And then once he hits you, he knocks you over and... <sighs> it's terrible. Terrible. Plus, the, the grenade launcher is so close range that... Ah, uh, he's gonna fuck my mouth. Yeah. He's a mega herb. And run away, hopefully. Yeah, it's so close range that, like, fuck this. It doesn't do anything. Oh my god, get up. Oh my god, get up, please, please. Claire, please. I think I can survive one more hit. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna risk it. Because I have limited healing items here. Yes, I can. So pause as soon as I can. Oh god, that was close. I'm gonna get hit again, but... Ho oh, ho, dodge it. Dude, stop being a dick. God, he's being such an asshole. He's bullying me so much. Dear God, I just want to be at this. Okay, out of that ammo, let's try this. I am getting better at just being mobile and dodging his shit. Um, I say as I get hit. And I'm probably going to get hit again. Good thing I paused right there and checked because... Probably going to get here and it's probably going to kill me. Yep, couldn't run past him. And he's going to hit me again. No, he's not. Ha ha. Oh my god, Claire, reload any slower, please. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, I have one bullet and bow guns, but that's not going to do fucking shit against him. I'm out of health items, so... I'm just going to hit him a bunch. Oh, I hit him one. Okay. Let's hope this kills him. Because if it doesn't, then fuck me. Please, please, please. Yes. Oh, I'm the greatest Resident Evil player in the history of ever. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I suck. <laughs> oh, my. How many? Yeah. How many? How long did that take? How many tries? Like six, seven. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't care. I was going to re-equip the, the bow gun, but there's just going to be like a cutscene now, so. Steve's going to be like, wait, what happens? What was wrong? Ah, uh, you know, just the thing that almost killed me. Cockroach that had to be stepped on. Claire's much cooler about it. She doesn't realize that took me five tries. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's like fucking autopilot or something, so... Yeah, I don't know if you heard them earlier. They were like, oh, I hear Hawaii is the nicest time of year. I've never been to Hawaii, so I can't confirm or deny that. But now we're headed to the Antarctica. Pretty much the polar opposite of Hawaii. Whoa, Claire, come on. That was a, that was a, that was a very bigoted remark. Just because he cross-dresses does not make him a freak, Claire. Jesus. And I thought she was... I thought... I, I had respect for her, too. Until she said something like that. That That's just... That's just not okay in this day and age. I mean, it's the 21st century, for fuck's sake. Claire, just because... Of your heteronormativity, or whatever that word is... Doesn't mean you can impose... You know, everything shit about you on other people. Oh my god, that's so creepy. I hate Steve. I absolutely hate Steve. I can't wait till he dies. Oh, and he will die, trust me. Okay, so that boss fight took a while. I'll, uh... Where are we? 
You know, we're about to land somewhere new. Latitude, 82.17 degrees. That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. What? I've always wanted to go to the Antarctic. I think that'd be really cool. You know, there, there's not really anything there, but just hey, because... Those are the sea planes well, those graphics look so the different. Then that must be it's kind of hilarious how big of a difference there is. But yeah, I, I've always wanted to go just because it's like so remote and not many human beings have ever seen it. I, know, I just think it would be really cool. You know, I doubt they're going to have like tourist visits to Antarctica anytime soon, but as soon as they do, I'm, I'm on the first plane, man. All right, so this is the point where we would change discs and uh, let's go ahead and overwrite this one again. Yeah, so now we're on disc two, essentially. And uh, yeah, here we go, disc two. So this is about the halfway point of the game and still playing as Claire here, but we're in a new location. So we're not on that shitty little island anymore. We're on a base in Antarctica. But it's going to be the same basic, like, zombies, puzzle solving. Some new enemies thrown in, which I've mentioned earlier. Um, hey, wake yeah, up but fuck me. you. Perfectly legitimate phobia. I'll say that again. I'll just say that again. We're Shut up, Steve! Five. Yeah, survive the plane crash. Oh my god, let's go. Jump down. Tee hee sexual tension. <laughs> Steve, this is neither the time nor the place. Thanks. The subplot between them, like the whole romantic love story thing, is so shitty. Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. It's not well done Let's at all. Find another way off this like, I don't side. care Please. about this right. character. I care about Claire and her finding her brother, okay. but I don't care Let's about do this it. guy. Anyway, back to being Claire. Awesome. Um, so let's see. Gotta get my bearings a little bit. This is the part of the game that I know less about because I've just played it less. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's possible I'm going to get stuck a little bit more than I was before, but, uh, hmm, let's see. Oh, and I have, like, no ammo. I just remembered that. All right, so we got some zombies. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can go that way, but not this way. This is actually, I, I think this is the part I like most about survival horror games is when, and Silent Hill 2 did this really well, where you would enter a new area and that whole part would just be exploring. So like figuring out what's in each room, like finding items and then finding a room where there's a puzzle that you can't solve yet. I don't know, for some reason that's just like my favorite part about survival horror games it was just kind of. Going through them like that, slowly figuring stuff out. More pistol ammo, which is fucking, thank God. And an ink ribbon, which I, I think I've already reached the uh, critical mass for ink ribbons. Like I've already, I've already gotten to the point where I, I will never run out of ink ribbons just because I have so many and because I've been saving so infrequently. I think if you play this game for the first time and you didn't really know what you were doing, then you might save more often, but you know, because it's me and I'm fucking awesome. It's going to become my catchphrase, by the way. Fucking awesome. I like how Will did the impression of me saying that in our Let's Drink of Left 4 Dead 2. Very funny, which you guys should all go watch that because uh, we saved Noam Chomsky and the capture cuts out because the capture fucking always cuts out, of course. But, you know, it's a, it's a funny video. You should go check it out. It's on the website. Go go look for it. I just posted it on the website last night, actually. 
so there's a suitcase in there that I want, but I don't think I can get it yet. There's something that'll trigger that zombie to break out. Like there always is. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. Mm, yeah, I might end it soon. I don't know. Um, got some other recording to do today. I got to... Well, first of all, in order to, you know, now that I'm going to start reviewing games in video form, doing video reviews for Brilliant Epic, I want to actually do them right. And Claire, what are you looking down at? Okay. Well, this guy's obviously going to get up. So let's see if we can uh, nip that in the bud. And nope, can't do that. Shit. Well, I just wasted three bullets. Awesome. Um, yeah, now that I'm going to be reviewing games i i want to actually you know kind of do it right and actually beat the entire game and kind of experience their, everything there is to experience i just feel like reviewing a game without doing that is that's it's it's a little fucked up even though that's what i'm doing with first impressions but you know that's different because that's that's something i came up with and it's awesome and reviews are d different so shut up um, yeah, anyway, so I, 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 uh, played Madden, like, all day yesterday, and, uh, yeah, it's a fun game, but, shit, playing it for, like, eight hours straight, not fun. Uh, yeah, I gotta get to Metro, though, because I haven't started playing that yet, and I need to start capturing it, I need to start playing it, and write a review on it, and that'll be up sometime this week or early next week, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I gotta see, I gotta kind of get into the rhythm and see how long it takes me to do these, fuck you, fuck you, these video reviews. This guy's still up. Jesus. Wasting so much ammo. So much ammo. Is he dead? Is the music gonna stop? Music is still playing, so. Yeah, that's how you know. That's, that's one of the clues in these games, is if the music keeps playing, like it is, you know he's gonna get back up. Which he did. Pro tip. So yeah, that's uh, something to keep in mind for actually a lot of, not even just Resident Evil or survival horror games in general, just a lot of like action games. Um, the music will kind of keep playing if there's like an, like I remember Halo did this even. It would play like kind of crazy suspenseful music if like you were jumped by a bunch of aliens or something and it would keep playing the music even if there was like one grunt around a corner and you couldn't find them. It would just keep playing the music. So that's that's uh, that's kind of one of those useful video game things that you pick up that you know there's still enemies around if it keeps playing the suspenseful music. Um, I think there's something on this bed, but maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Uh, well, I got some ammo, some explosive rounds, which is always welcome. And uh, how long have we been going? I think I'll cut this episode a little bit short. Got a lot of other shit to do today. Plus, I'm about to run into the most annoying enemy in the game once I go down these steps. Uh, oh, well, I'm actually not. Uh, because, okay, so here it is. It's whatever did this. Um, there's a hallway to my left there. If I go down that hallway, then it triggers the enemy. But I don't want to do that yet because... All right, so they're like the bats, basically. But they can poison you. So it's it's terrible. Uh, no, I don't want to do this yet. Cancel. Uh, just explore a little bit more. I might actually... Well... I might cut it here. Uh, shit. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, what else? What else? Ink ribbon. I'll put some of this shit away. Make more explosive rounds. Yeah. I'll cut it here. Um, just do a short episode this week, especially because that boss kicked my fucking ass. And, uh... Yeah, man, that was, that was, that was rough, but... Uh, you know what? No, fuck it. Let's, let's do, let's play, let's play, play life on hard mode here. I, I got a less shit to do today, but let's press on because, uh, because we're cool like that. Actually, you know, what? no, fuck it. I'm, I'm cutting it here. Fuck you. Uh, 
First, I'll do all the work of, like, consolidating this because I'm, like, OCD about it. Um, that. I will need blue herbs coming up because those are, uh, enemies poison you. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, so I will need blue herbs. And I think that's it. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, this is Frank from Brilliant Epic. Thanks for tuning in. Let's just make sure we're still capturing to capture this outro. We are good. Um, there's actually one more part of the room I want to explore real quick. Oh, useless books. Something was dragged. Okay, so can't go back there yet. Uh, can I open this? No, I can't. Hmm. Well, I, th I think that's about it. So, yeah, th uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Frank from Brilliantly Epic, and thanks for watching part six of my Resident Evil Code Veronica Lex play. Remember, tune in next week for part seven, and we're in the Antarctica now, bitch. So, you know, my ties on the beach. Uh, save over that part. Like so. And yeah, check out all the new content and shit that's going to be going up on the site. Um, some great articles coming up from all our talented writers. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.